So right away, you're going to notice we have a bit of a funny bot lane going on here. And as the game goes on, you'll see that we've got quite a lot of funny business going on. In a way, let's just say that the Nasus and our bot lane kind of balance together, uh, making this a very interesting game, but not one I can be mad at. So playing Gwentop, we're going back to what I used to use, which is Grasp of the Undying. And already, I think I've had more success using Grasp of the Undying than uh, the now nerfed Lethal Tempo or Conqueror or whatever. Of course, if you play Gwen, play whatever the heck you want, I really don't care. Now, right away, you can see that uh, Nasus has purchased a Null Magic Mantle, which I would not recommend for many reasons against Gwen. For one, um, Gwen does true damage on the Q, which is the magical damage that you need to be worried about, <laughs> which can just kind of turn Q if aimed correctly. Second is, as an auto-attacker, Gwen's going to do a lot of physical damage. And third reason is, 99% of the time you want a Doran's item, or some kind of starter item, not something like Null Magic Mantle, which is really providing minimal value here in this lane. Uh, I can, it will resist my grasp, I suppose. Um, and you'll also notice that Nasus just takes a lot of hits. He takes a lot of grasps. He misses minions sometimes. And overall, you can tell he's not the quickest on the draw, but believe me, this game is still somehow balanced. And quite a lot of interesting things happen. So, getting level 2 and not quite noticing my Nasus yet, um, and after the last game I played, I didn't quite want to, start bullying him away from CS if you don't bully Nasus early, no matter how uh, you look. Nasus can always farm up into an absolute monster and still... Uh, even if all he does is split push wave, that's still a lot of pressure you have to deal with. Now, I've got Demolish on Gwen. It's only three minutes into the game, and we're checking out the crab right on time due to gaining the priority. And Demolish on Gwen is real nice because she actually does have good wave clear, good damage on Taurus. Uda's going to come up here. He's going to pop Ghost uh, immediately. We're going to go ahead and reset this heart E on Uda. He does not land a bear immediately. We're going to land W just to tank a little bit of more damage. You get 20 armor and magic resist when you activate W with Gwen. And you ignore everything outside of the W, as everyone seems to know. I could go into a rant about how Gwen's W is not well. Nice teleport effect, thank you, Riot. <laughs> Actually, no, let's not go there. Let's not open that one. You'll be clicking a Gwen video if you are just here to say, wow, Gwen is a soulless, skillless piece of crap. Or maybe you would. I don't know. <laughs> Leave a comment below if that is you. Or isn't you. Who cares? Give me algorithm. When we're coming up to the top, against the poor, poor Nasus, who chooses to wither me, so Rumble gets a kill very easily. Um, Ignite as well, I suppose. You can go ahead and push up, deny Nasus more farm. You can see he's 11 CS down, but perhaps be a bit better. But that's just what it is right now. Now, just in case you haven't noticed, if we look down in bot lane, we've got one death and that's okay. It's a Jinx Swain, very strong champions, against Ivern support with Mordekaiser, Lethal Tempo, bot lane, which is very interesting. Uh, he says in all chat, which will appear on the replay, that apparently he saw it in a video somewhere and thought he'd try it. I, I don't know who's advertising that, but <laughs> uh, thanks, I guess. What is very important is that the bot lane have fun and in a team chat, uh, the Ivern does tell me when I ask him if they're having fun, but they indeed are. That's all that really matters. And as you've probably already seen, there's some all chat shenanigans already going on. Everyone's here just having a good time. You can't be mad at this game. Even if the enemy is currently 3 to 1 and takes the first dragon. Okay, we're going to go ahead and slap Nasus some more. I could do a better job of it, but I'm kind of out of practice at League in general. I took a massive break, as you guys who watch the streams know. There hasn't been a stream until actually today, where I did a 20 minute stream <laughs> only. Because it ended as soon as I lost the game I was playing, which is crazy taxi. Crazy taxi. I said it wrong. Gaston coming up with an ult, and I choose to use a exhaust after some hesitation when I realized I got enough mana for another dash out, and therefore he wasn't able to do enough damage, and also, it's early game casting, it'll be fine. Electrocute or not, it'll be fine. On my first big purchase, I buy Shattered Queen. Now, Gwent with AP is pretty damn strong. Most people go immediately for the Riftmaker for that sustained uh, Omni Ram for the healing, the true damage. That's fine. Shattered Queen, I think, is okay. I have no maps to back it up. I have, don't even have experience to back it up because I've only bought it so many times. But it seems pretty cool. If you think about it like the AP version of Immortal Shield Boat, then it does actually fit Gwen quite well. I want to go in close. I want to do lots of damage. So I buy an AP item. I don't quite need the mana so much, but it does help. 
And the damage reduction is really good for those quick trades and of course for longer trades as well and enemy burst like the Kassadin. Perhaps I could have made a better choice. For example, maybe Everfrost would have been better. It does a lot of the same stuff. Here comes the Z Jungle Gank. It's going to do a bit of damage. It's going to be a Z Alt Proc and an Electric Cube, but it's just not enough. We couldn't do enough damage to the big tanky ulting Nasus. And Udo is going to pop in, do literally nothing. Once we use Demolish to proc this, Udo is forced to defend. We're going to go back and we're going to buy some boots. Udo gives me a bit of a scare there. We're also going to buy some tabbies because that's a big jinx they've got on the enemy team so far. So we're thinking about getting those tabbies. But we'll see what I actually buy on the next back. We're going to help. He oh, by the way, if you don't know, I max Eon Gwen because I love attack speed. I love all champions with attack speed. That's why I like building AD and stuff on Skana. That's why I build AD on Fresh. Attack speed is just really fun, particularly on melee characters. Now, Nasus takes a few seconds to realize he might be in danger and then decides to flash away. He had already popped my ultimate, so I guess that's something, but he's now very low and still willing to go for those minions and miss them still. He actually queued me after missing that one. Due to the E reset kind of nullifying Wither there, we're able to get those extra few hits and Grasp of the Undying, of course, also coming in really nicely to finish the Nasus. Now, why Grasp of the Undying on Gwen? Gwen typically likes to do long trades with her on hit E and her uh, extra attack speed on E. Especially when she first came out, she got 40%. That was insane. 40% attack speed was completely insane. However, what she is good at is using the extra range and the dash from E to quickly get a little grass proc. And you can also do this with a Q E, which then you follow up the Q immediately with an auto attack. It's quite clean if you can get it down if the, enemies, if the enemy doesn't back or isn't already backing away. Then you can usually get away with this. Dragon is up and I catch an Udo in the tribush, so I decide I might as well give him a bit of a run. Try to do some damage, but he's a tanky Udo already. My damage isn't all there. Shattered Queen is a complete item, but it's only 60 AP. And most of Gwent's AP scaling does go into that passive, the percentage max health damage. Which is not is doing something, but not amazingly against that high magic resist Udo right now. Remember that the passive damage from Gwen, the percentage max health, does not turn true in the center of the queue. Only the extra damage. Only the magic damage. Okay, <laughs> one round up. Only the base damage, not the max HP damage. Gonna go ahead, take the mid turret, slap Udo in the minions a little bit whilst going to top lane to continue defending. Even if the Nasus might not be the most, uh, he might not be the sharpest tool in the shed, he is still swinging an incredibly huge cane which he is able to stack up, use Sheen when he gets it, and hit turrets. We're gonna go ahead and attack this uh, Udo, back him off a little bit, getting those autos, getting those extra Q, I mean ult procs. We go ahead and exhaust Cassadin. It's not going to be enough, so it was kind of my bad for continuing this fight here. Going to get kind of low and dead because of the Udo. Udo's base damage is still quite significant at this stage in the game, and Shattered Queen had already gone. And we got a Merc Threads as well, which isn't the best. Teleport once again not showing. Thank you, Riot Games. As you can see, we've also got a Merc Threads. This is going to fight against the Udo Stun, the Nazus Wither, Jinx Stun and the Swain stun as well, so very good. And uh, Again, Nasus just kind of stands there, he doesn't know what's going on. Uh, he's gonna die again, but again, let's have a little update for those of you thinking, wow, Cryo, you got an easy game top lane, well done. Why are you making a replay out of it? You're an idiot. Let's go look at bot lane real quick. Let's... <laughs> we have the bottom Mordecai's with a 0, 6 and 0, 4, but I can't stay mad at them, because they, <laughs> they were just cool guys. But, um, Lethal Tempo Mordekaiser just living out his dream down there. We're going to go ahead, do some extra damage, get that Demolish. Nasus comes in. We could have probably ignored him and just done stuff, but there was an Uday running around here. We're going to use Gwent only slow, which is our ultimate, to trap him and get us a kill. Once that happens, I'm going to go ahead and take the Herald. I wish more people kind of came to it, but instead we can't go mid and do end up dying. But yeah, I guess it was a fine enough distraction for me to get the Herald and still enough time to defend from Nasus, kind of, because he's going to Karakazi onto the tower. Also, I kind of panicked a little bit. Still doing high damage because I'm Gwen and he's an Asus and he likes to stand still, which is very, very appreciated amongst uh, Gwen players. After all, the uh, the kind of play to a Gwen Q is to um, it's, it's, it's to walk. Anyway, we've got an interesting build going on here. We've gone for Cosmic Drive second, no Nash's Tooth. Normally, I praise the Nash's Tooth. Normally, I love the Nash's Tooth. But we're going for Cosmic Drive because we've got a lot of AP with the Shattered Queen. If we went for Everfrost or something even tankier, maybe, not tankier, sorry, more damage than we go for it. Here I am trying to lock down the Jinx immediately because the Jinx is 8-1, we absolute priority target. I do kind of end up overextending and have to back off here doing 
whatever damage I can. We'll get into the item discussion in just a second. Doing decently and able to just about slip away. So the Cosmic Drive gives you a lot of ability haste. 30 ability haste, that's actually the highest you can get from a single item. And there's a few other items that compare, but they aren't AP and they aren't Cosmic Drive, so this is the one we buy. If we had even more AP from something like Everfrost, or some, even something like Night Harvester or Hextech Protobels, and then we'd be probably even better off. Night Harvester would give the ability haste as well, which would make it very nice. But Cosmic Drive gives you more ability haste, and it's kind of well known amongst Gwen players that cooldown is good. But I do feel like, maybe it's just because I haven't seen many Gwens recently, but I feel like this is kind of a forgotten build. Like, people seem to have stopped doing that. They just buy their Riftmaker and die at 20 minutes. There you go. Mordecai's saying where he, <laughs> he found it from a video. Uh, I wonder how many people I've said to do that with Fresh Top, eh? Anyway, the more ability haste you get, the more Qs you get, and the Qs your main damage, especially with a higher AP build. You do get some conversion from AP to magic damage on E on hit, but it's not very strong, and you do need an Ashes too, which I really delay this game. However, the alt damage and the Q damage really does show, and it's really nice, especially considering just how tanky the enemy is. But of course, if we're relying on percentage max health damage, however, if enemies have high HP and high magic resist, you're going to need to buy some magic on Gwen, which I do not. It ends up being okay because we got the grasp, we got the healing, we got some tankiness ourselves. We're not too far off, we're not too bad. Everyone is gonna kinda be wasted, but it's okay. Kind of forming up here, Ivan's gonna get caught. But we're heading out for this Nasus. Hopefully, we can just quickly squeeze a kill here before things happen. He's gonna all become really tanky. And I am Wing just at the last kind of moment there. And so I do not take any damage from the Jinx, because that is who I'm really afraid of. And Swain as well. Everyone's favourite kind of support champion, Swain. Don't, don't you love it? Don't you love when supports just had all the AP in the world and all the damage? Yeah, wonderful game, wonderful game. Anyway, you going to stand here extremely stealthy. There's no way they could possibly see me here. Except they do. Not that they can do anything from this distance. That's completely fine. They're going to chase anyway. I see Swain does a little emoting. We like, appreciate that. Mordecai is going to ult Jinx and immediately die inside Death Realm. That's completely fine. We're trying to catch someone here. Of course, Nasus is extremely forward, but I go straight for these guys. Nasus is basically a given. Kind of trying to reset ult, but we're just not going to catch them. They're too far away. That's completely fine. With Dragon up, we want to try and deny it. We don't want to try to get on it, but the enemy team's already on it. Ude manages to land the smite. Jinx is running away at Getting away from Uday, getting away from the team, getting into the correct positioning, and landing a fair distance rocket to do quite a bit of damage. With me out of the picture, the enemy team's chased the rumble. Jinx trying to get a little catch. And Cassin going to finish off the rumble. Whereas I go off to finish off the Jinx, do a lot of damage. As you can see, the auto attack damage is kind of lacking. Without the Nash's Tooth, it's quite weak. <laughs> without the Stride Breaker, without the AD, I suppose, too. But uh, chasing Kastin was a rather foolish idea. Luckily, Nasus does arrive and we are to get some kill on him. Then he flashes away, at which point we can disengage, but Mordecai says, no, we will go for the game. Uda politely points out our Nexus, but our people respawn in time, and I'm here to gather some XP as well. I'm 618, which is pretty strong, but just remember the bottom. Just, uh, but they're, they're, they're cool people. Look at him. Look at Mordecai. He's 110 and he's still chilling. He's just like, fear the road to Kaiser. He, he's, having, he's having a good time. And so is the Ivern, and I'm pretty sure they're pre-made. And that's the most important thing at all. Remember, this is not a ranked game, and even if it was, that's no excuse to go ape shit on your teammates. At the very least, not in the chat. Maybe on your own, in your head. To your stream chat, whatever. Again, kind of engaging here, with that kind of long distance, big hope uh, needles. And I go ahead, pop the Zonia's. Very good purchase, by the way. I was a good idea. Able to get the pop on the Swain, so both bot laners are dead, and allow our team to kind of go forth. Mm, not the strongest, and then it was at this point we remembered that we do not have a ranged DPS AD carry to deal with, uh, to deal with some DPS whilst we're tanking here. Luckily, Swain is able to kill the zero damage Sunfire Ude. That was a bit of an oxymoron. <laughs> and he's very happy, as you can tell. Uh, Kastin is also entertaining this. Everyone's having a bit of a good time. Nasus is going to run away from the, the uh, pillar men here. 
And I'm gonna go farm bot lane will take cover from that. Getting a bit more farm, getting a bit more XP. We want to reach full build. <laughs> we have to somehow be one person to match the enemy team because that Jinx is fed. Still got some outer turrets to farm as well. Uh, unfortunately, Mordekaiser and I think Ivern as well do heavily overextend and it's... Oh, it, it, it kills us a bit. Get a kill on Nasus. That's the only person we can get a kill on consistently. <laughs> unfortunately, uh, the enemy's got two people they can do that to. Dragon coming up. Waiting on a purchase. What is it? I do not remember. Sheen, apparently. <laughs> I think I wasn't sure what to buy. I think, oh yeah, I decided on Lich Bane because I didn't know what to buy. I wanted some more damage. And then I remembered I don't have an Ashes Doof, so I'm going to sell that Sheen in a bit and get an Ashes Doof instead. Going around to check out the Ude. I was going to say let's not engage Ude because he won't be alone. Turns out he was actually much more alone than we thought. So perhaps if I committed from the first place, we would have got him. But Swain kind of being scary. And he does not engage on Storm. He goes on for me. Kasten's going to go ahead and speed over. Now, here's where Kasten's going to attempt to get some burst. We do his Onus. He does his Onus. I get out of there. I exhaust it so he doesn't kill me. And fire the five needles from a little distance. In which case, Rumble now uses his Onus and will now die. Go ahead to get back a little bit of a refund on the health there. Come back to mid. Come back to defend. Come back to get CS. Come back to finish Nash's tooth. And really just holding out for here. The enemies have four dragons to our one, three of which are infernal. And they do so much damn damage. Even Nasus at this point is going to do a lot of damage with those sacks. How many is he at? Your boy is at 372, not the highest, but still enough to uh, send us back in. Go ahead, go back, settle out, get a blasting one instead. That's going into an Ashes Tooth. I was hoping that I could just buy it straight up. Kind of getting close to Jinx, but she does back off in time, leaving Uda alone, but he's a very tanky Uda. He's very difficult to deal with, even for a Gwen, due to the lack of Void Staff and Magic Pen. Somehow I dodged the um, Uda stun there for one attack, but he gets me with the second, and I have to back away once again. It's just really easy for them to eat through my health, but at least I'm not dead. Jinx going forward with the Ws. I'm going to go ahead and use the EW combo. That puts you at perfect positioning with the W, just to clear away the minions and deny them. Really pushing this. That's going to hurt a lot, but luckily Jinx no longer has a rocket, and we can just go back and heal again. Once again. Enemies forced to back off. The rumble also is going to slow them down. We do land the needle on Jinx. We're going to go ahead for another needle at her. And then finally, into the claws, into the jaws of the Gwen E and Q, which is going to give me a reset on the dash. Chasing in on the Nasus, he's going to wither, and that's kind of hard to get away from. Mercury Treads, you know, trying its hardest here to get away from the tenacity. Do the tenacity, to use the tenacity. Ude, 1v5, Sunfire Cape, attempted DPS. Maximize the value by getting as many people close to you as possible, I suppose. Defend the inhibitor. Finish off Nash's Tooth. Bam, we have a little more damage now, a bit more DPS. Cast in, split push in top. Cast in is now level 16. Very deadly power spike. Absolutely. 40 to 30. Uh, bot lane. Oh man, I'm glad they're having fun. But they are very, very behind. And needless to say, we'd probably be in a very different situation had they just gone neutral. The team comp problem would still be there. But then uh, the Jinx wouldn't be hyper accelerated and we'd have more ma women methods to counter her. I really worded there. New dragon coming in and we're going to go ahead. Try and deny this elder. We're going to hit the elder dragon as well to get a bit of a speed boost, get a reset on the, the guardian angel on Jinx's proc here. But we do kill the Jinx immediately and I really mess up the timing on the guardian angel there. I'm not used to it. It's been a long time since I've played properly. We do get a bunch of kills here. Nasa's appearing in our base, killing our inhibitor and inhibitor turret. A 1v1 is all that is left in this fight. Gwen with the grasp of the dying heals, the native, the innate heals. I think Ravenous Hunter too. No Ravenous Hunter, at least not that I know of. Probably, I'm not sure. But we kill the Uda as well. Now, back to top lane, the 1v1, Gwen versus Nasus. Nasus is already at the Nexus. I could have teleported, but that could have also lost the game. Nasus does have, doesn't look like it, but he does have the mana to hit, and just about by really turboing out the abilities there, uh, kind of late on the ult, I think maybe just came off cooldown, was able to defend the Nexus one last time. But besides asking for a coin flip victory and a, uh, <laughs> a getting a top diff from Kassa, that's about all we're going to get.
that's about it for this game 13 to 12 for the enemies the, the elder drakes the that they're about to get that they now get the infernal dragons times three the infernal soul in fact that jinx was fed from the start that cassin's hit his late game with a death cap not much more we can do i stand forward for a little last stand because i'm the strongest person on the team i'm pretty damn sure trying to use that healing trying to use everything using azonias it doesn't matter the nexus is here the enemy team is here the elder dragon is blasting everyone to smithereens and that is the game <laughs> five earns says sorry to the team and the bot lane had fun i don't think anyone was mad <laughs> by the end of this game as it happened we kind of all, all knew the inevitability of it from the first few minutes and it was a fun, not exactly back and forth as you can see by the turrets, but a fun game nonetheless. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I did playing it. And shout out to the Mordekaiser and Ivan bot lane who were just having fun that one day. And the enemy team who were doing the same. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.